In the last few hours, San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins revealed her office must release ceasefire protesters. Those were the people who blocked the Golden Gate Bridge yesterday. Uh, this after the CHP originally announced a long list of offenses against the 26 protesters who were arrested. Our Crown Forest Teresa Stasio is on this story for us and joins us now in the studio with more. Oh, well, Vicki and Ken, false imprisonment, unlawful assembly, conspiracy to commit a crime. The CHP arrested 26 protesters on these offenses Monday. However, now San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins saying that the protesters will be allowed out of jail because they don't have enough evidence to go forward. This is what it looked like on Monday at the Golden Gate Bridge. Hundreds taking over the span. Cars forced to stop in their tracks. Drivers unable to get around the chaos. The pro-Palestinian protesters took over the bridge around 8 a.m. at the height of the morning commute. They used pipes, chains, and locks to make their removal difficult for law enforcement personnel responding to the scene. The northbound and southbound lanes shut down for nearly four hours. Now San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins says that the law is clear. They must charge all 26 people with clear evidence, which they don't have yet. The district attorney's office is required to, to file charges uh, within 48 hours of their arrest. Unfortunately, due to the timing of their arrest yesterday, that charging decision has to be made by 4 p.m. today. At this time, we anticipate having to send the case back to the CHP for continued investigation. Some of the evidence DA Jenkins says that they need includes video of arrested protesters caught in the act breaking the law, asking the public to also help in this case. This is an active and open investigation. Anyone who was falsely imprisoned on the Golden Gate Bridge on April 15th, 2024, is urged to contact the California Highway Patrol and provide them with a statement detailing what happened to you and with contact information so that you can be reached as a victim. You may be entitled to restitution and have other victims' rights guaranteed under Marcy's Law. Lastly, DA Jenkins says it is important to add that this is not about the First Amendment. I understand that people are passionate about issues that are going on in the world right now and they need a venue and a vehicle for that expression, uh, but they have to do, they have to express their views in a way that is safe to the public. We are not going to allow people to endanger other members of the community and of our society in order to express those views. You may recall five months ago, 78 out of the 80 charged in the Bay Bridge protest made a deal approved by the sentencing judge. They are going to be serving five hours of community service and $4,000 in restitution to avoid criminal charges. Now, DA Jenkins says that if any of those protesters were involved in yesterday's protest, they can go after them again. Vicki and Ken.